Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and you're watching a tutorial on the excavator design in the KTRV5. So we are in the uh, assembly design workbench and we have inserted a couple of uh, components here and uh, let's see uh, the next component that is to be inserted. So I'll go to insert existing component with positioning, click on the product and then I'm going to insert the front arm. So it's right here and uh, I'm going to use the uh, coincidence constraint here and uh, you're going to ask me the direction so this is the direction that I need I'll click OK and uh, as I've said earlier you need to give an offset constraint here so offset with respect to this face and this face so just give a reasonable offset so say give around some so minus 4 and uh, give an update ok and it's going to stay over there uh, check the degrees of freedom in between in your design manipulate x axis or y axis and just do the rotation and it's going to work properly and uh, on the z axis here it's working perfect in all the aspects so uh, one more thing that I uh, forgot to mention is uh, it's always a good practice to rename your product uh, back to the product name which you're working on that is the excavator uh, excavator assembly or excavator whatever so I'll click on OK and uh, the product name is changed to the excavator and uh, the same applies when you do the simulation when you have a new mechanism uh, change and rename back to the uh, JCB uh, simulation or whatever so th this is also called as the digger or JCB so uh, that's about the uh, uh, this step where you insert the front arm Keep watching.